Hey, Volcanic here, back with another review. So, uh, today I want to do a small review on this little piece here. Uh, I got this from Amazon. Um, I, I moderate a couple websites and, uh, and, um, I got a little, uh, teeny bonus. So I, uh, splurge, I got an Amazon gift card. So I went to Amazon and, uh, I saw this. And the pictures are, so, I'm so used to eBay. I'm an eBay shopper. And I saw this on Amazon and I was like, oh, what is this? And I mean, looking at that figure, some of these figures here, you would think that this is from the, the you know, the, the normal line. So I thought this was a normal thing. I thought this was like a new sculpt job of the hut or something that I never saw before. Um, it's made by Disney. It's called the Return of the Jedi figurine playset. And so, you know, I figured I'd buy it, I'd get it. But uh, first of all, I'd like to say that, you know, Amazon, I mean, uh, this is the first thing I've ever bought from Amazon, and look at it. Didn't look anything like this in the package. The box was horrible. It was sent UPS, which you normally don't even, on eBay, I just get my stuff right through the normal postage service, which I never have a problem with. This was supposed to come on December 30th. I got it today. So this was actually the very first package. I've never even had an eBay package from the regular postage service come late. It's, this is the first one, and this was UPS, you know? I'm like, what the heck? But, I mean, even still looking at these figures, they seem like they're the right size. But they have round bases on the bottom. I'm not familiar with the round base, you know, uh, figures like this. So, I, n I never usually buy these, but I don't know if this is the normal size of them or not. But, I mainly they bought it because of this Jabba. I don't know if we can see it, but look right closely there. This Jabba has a tattoo on his arm. So that's what attracted me. And now that I'm still looking at the size of this Jabba, this would actually look great as um, as a, a teenager Jabba, you know, because Jabba's lived to be like, I think, I, I forget what, uh, I think over a thousand years. They have a really long lifespan, I think. I can't remember what the approximate lifespan is of a, of a Jabba species, the species of Jabba. Um, but uh, this one really, you know, look at his face. Just, you know, he looks like Jabba, kind of, but he doesn't. He's got a big head, big thing with a small little tail. So it's kind of how I would expect a teenager to look. So I'm going to definitely put him in my set. Since this box is... So cruddy, we can just. We normally never would do this, but I don't even care about saving this package. It says it's got a dotted line, so let's use it. See what it says. It's right from the Disney store. Look at that. Dang, Disney. Do you guys get the feeling that they like to stamp things? They must have a really big stamper and they just want to stamp everything with some numbers, you know? Oh my god. So his arms are. They're not posable, but they are separate pieces. But compared to the hand size, I mean, he's as big as my hand. This would be an excellent teenager Jabba to go inside of my uh, Jabba family that I'm doing. Now, if me and Sci-Fi can uh, come up with a good zero of the hut, hopefully he'll find his uh, Jabba soon, and uh, we're going to... Try to do up some Zero of the Huts, but we want to make sure we get the paint right, because Zero is kind of like a dark blue, and I've noticed in some scenes when he gets into, like, Jabba's Palace or or, or the, you know, the party rooms, his uh, tattoo seems to have glow-in-the-dark kind of features to it. So I want a nice, uh, find a nice paint that's, you know, luminous, that'll uh, do his tattoo well. But let's look at this tattoo. What is this of? Are you kidding me? Kind of looks like a a boat anchor. Two boat anchors. <laughs> Was he a pirate? 
Arr, I need to be job really hot. Arr, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> oh, that's too funny. I don't know if that's a symbol or not. I'm not familiar with any of Job of the Hut symbols, but you know, the first look to me, I see a pirate anchor. <laughs> oh, Disney, you gotta love me. Arr, love me, me love Disney. <laughs> oh, let's look at the figures. I he this. This is, feels like a big figure. Let me get a. Here's another bag of figures. Yeah, he's like a almost approximate size. I mean, I could probably put him with my figures. You know what I mean? He's not a bad sculpt. He just don't move. And I and I do like the weapons on these guys. If you notice, well, he has got a really nice staff with a big ball on the back. Oh my god. Let's take a look at Luke. He looks like a... Looks like a rat. Looks like some kind of rodent. He's got a rodent face. He's got a lot of... crud going on, too. I don't know if I can get it in there. See the black going across his nose, under his eye, on his cheek? Horrible paint job. Wow, even under that eye. Disney. It almost looks like they changed Luke's eyes to look uh, Disney-like. Big blue. Looks like he wants to break out in a song. I am Luke. Oh, so Luke. Looks like a different face sculpt too for Leia. Doesn't look like Leia. Now oh, they are two doesn't I mean uh, C3PO don't look too bad. I can't move his head or anything. Well Bib Fortuna. He looks cool. It's not a horrible sculpt of him. He kind of looks like a rodent, too. Ah, oh, Disney. I think any good painter out there should start applying to Disney. Someone needs to, to help Disney with painting. They, they obviously don't know how to paint a figure. I see it in the Rebel figures. I haven't even got me a Rebel figure yet. Hey, the only ones I've seen in the store were horribly painted with such bad defects on them that uh, I, I just w it would kill me to own it. It really would. So I keep going out there looking to find one with a good paint. But I, I really like in this. It's really hard. It's very stiff, but it does give that 3D illusion of being a thicker type, short weaved like a wool. The vintage figure has that awesome fur, but it's like they killed a bantha and stuck it around them. It's long fur. Looks better than the other thing, but still it's not movie accurate. But yeah, I like the Gamorrean guard, actually. wonder if I could cut the stands off their feet. Oh, look at that. Disney. Vietnam. Oh. Oh. Disney. Well, that's enough of this funky old place that I got there that came beat up. But here's the other good thing I got. Bun, dun, dun. The Mandalorian transport, man. I'm really, really liking this shit. I have one in the box, but I've never had one open. But yeah, this is one pretty cool ship. Got like a that bugs me. Fake landing gear doesn't open. 
Obviously, it needs one in the back, but oh no, we're not going to put one. We'll give you one in the front though. You can tip the wings upwards to make the back one. Cool thing about these wings is they do go all the way around 360 degrees, and then you can flip open the sides. So, say you're going into flight mode here. Got the engine still there, two little buttons for two missiles. Now you can even them out, it's just, I'm trying to do this one hand so it'll go all the way. But, oh and it, uh, and, um, Yeah, and it does open up. Right there, see? That's where you open it up from. <laughs> Come on! Toys are so fun to play with. Open it up! There we go. And it opens. Yes, it does open. And that holds six people. These don't move. Oh, you got to love this, too. <laughs> Most of us hate the stickers anyway. Well, what do you want to apply these stickers? Have fun getting that one in. And have fun getting that one in. Oh, yeah, you got to love it. Squeeze it right there behind the seat. Give you that much room. How many of you think your fingers are that skinny? Fun. And they did it on the other side too. Let's squeeze stickers behind the chairs. But uh, other than that, I mean, this I, I really like the ship though. See how it's got the three colors going on. You got the tan, more of a creamy white. You got the blues. But I am very confused on this ship. Uh, if you watch the Clone Wars, I mean, before, uh, when I first got this ship, and I was looking at the Clone Wars, too, I, I could have swore there was a difference. That the, the Mandalorian transports for, civil, for, the, um, for the population and for, you know, the, uh, like the Duchess herself and all that looked like this. They had flat tips on the front. And if you look at the actual ones that had weaponry and that was, um, and that uh, held, uh, you know, uh, Pre Vizsla in uh, the Death Watch, those ones came out farther and had big long spikes. But I have to rewatch the show and actually see if I'm correct on that one. But I, I do believe I was thinking that there was going to be two of these ships, but they only made this one. And they seem to made it with missiles, so I'm assuming that they're making this for the complete transport for, you know, both of them, if you're trying to set up a play scene. But uh, it is a really nice ship. It's uh, very light, and I mean, I can't think of another ship, period, that's this size, that can hold six figures. I mean, that's uh, quite a bit of figures. And, um... It might not do much, you know, it's just got the wing movements, but, uh, it can, um, oh, they can move independently, too, the wings. You can move that wing up or that wing down, or you can move them together. They'll move, uh, simultaneously. But, uh, it's definitely a cool ship. I've been seeing these ships go for um, on eBay and uh, and Amazon between um, uh, it's between basically uh, thirty dollars to thirty six dollars. You might find one for twenty five, or you might might find one for forty five, but uh, roughly in that price uh, range, you uh, you can get them for. But um, I will cut this video short, and uh, I hope you enjoyed this review, even though I had some technical difficulties. But uh, I got a couple more reviews I got to pump out, and I still have videos that I was supposed to release on Christmas that I haven't released yet. 
So um, I'll probably be trying to upload some of those. Um, YouTube's been being a really pain with uploading some of these. Um, some of these videos seem to go in purgatory, and they just sit there processing forever, and they don't do anything. You know, so it's like I wait a week or two, and then I delete them, and then retry again. So it's I'm doing my best here. But um, yeah, please subscribe if you haven't subscribed, and I'll see you guys in the next video.